Good morning, y'all. I'm getting ready. I'm heading to my class and I'm on a special mission today as well. My sisters and I decided to buy each other gifts. It's not for the mere sake of Valentine's Day. You know, since I'm a Muslim myself, I don't celebrate it. And even if I wasn't religious, where I live, most of the people don't see it very special. I mean, yeah, you'll find a lot of red hearts and red balloons everywhere on that day, but it's still most of the people consider the sin and a big no-no. Anyway, back to what I was saying, my sisters and I decided to exchange gifts because let me put it this way we love each other and we decided to make it girls only so the gifts are exclusive to the strong beautiful females i live with in this house that sounded just feminist right I found these gorgeous plants and flowers beside the road and I thought, why not? Then I shopped at a couple of the stores. My mission is accomplished and now I'm on my way home. I regret it buying red wrappers to tell you the truth cause the gifts will look too valentiney. And these are the three amazing flowers I bought. For mom, I got her these cushion covers. I love the tree with leaves embroidery mom and, and the colors match mama's autumny living room. I'm adding this heart-shaped chocolate in every gift because I firmly believe that all gifts should include at least one edible item. Pringles as well because A, they look super duper cute and B, to balance up the sweetness of the chocolate. I didn't buy any cards because I remembered that I already have these. Again, they're Valentine-ish and it wasn't on purpose. I'm giving mama this purple lettuce-like plant. The guy who sold me the flowers told me it will open up blooming a beautiful flower in the middle. I'm going to insert this teeny tiny black board into the plant. I thought it might be useful if she needs to add any notes or reminders concerning the plant. My last touch will be this air freshener paper. I hang it on the back so when she opens it, the gift will smell amazing and she could reuse it whatever she wants. And my first gift is ready to go and hug mama. Moving on to the second one, which is for my sister. My older sister is a neat freak, so I found these two storage pieces a perfect match. She could use this one to organize anything, not only underwear, as the pictures suggest. And this is the second piece. This one can be hung on the wall. It has a lot of pockets and two small hooks. She loves the skincare products, especially with coconut scents, so I got her this hand cream as well. And fortunately, one of Radir's flowers died because I was very careful and soft moving it around. <laughs> so our hopes rely on this tiny flower. I added a piece of paper inside the back so the soil won't ruin it. My sister is a coffee addict, so yeah.
for my younger sister i got her this foldable collapsible kind of basket the color goes with her room and she likes simple prints reno is our chef in the house so i got her this cute pink apron we love to take care of our noses in this house so i bought her these nose strips Cheesecake freshener paper because she loves to make sweets. My gift gang is ready to go to their members. Last but certainly not least, I bought some gifts to my little nieces and my little cousin Donna. Donna's gift is a bit different because she's older. She's really into crazy weird things, so I got her a bottle in the shape of a sheep. It's so adorable though. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for next week's video to see the gifts I received from my sisters.